This is certified legal nurse consultant Marsha Bell. Marsha has told me that she's been involved in 180 cases and what really intrigued me is that you're involved in such variety. So what are some of the cases you've been involved in? Well, besides being a PACU expert in some medical malpractice cases, I've reviewed medical malpractice cases behind the scenes as a consulting expert. I've done accident cases. I've done some employment law cases. I've done a family law case. I, I do criminal cases as well as DMEs. Yeah, wow. Okay, so I, I really like hearing that because so often I think new certified legal nurse consultants, they think about their specialty, your specialty, PACU. So automatically a PACU nurse might think, oh, I can do OR cases, but you've obviously expanded out. And I want to ask you about criminal because this is especially an area where a lot of new certified legal nurse consultants, they don't think so much about criminal and yet this is such a limitless area for nurse consultants to be involved in. So tell me a little bit about your involvement with those cases. Well, I met an attorney one of the first times I exhibited at a state bar association and she had me review a case for someone who had hot oil poured on them in jail. In her next case, she said, are you on the list of experts at the courthouse? And I said, no. So I said, what do I need to do? So she sent, gave me a telephone number and to call and I filled out a form and she's referred me to other attorneys who have referred me to other attorneys and I've just grown from there. Yeah, that's amazing. So what are some examples of some of the criminal cases that you've been involved in? I've done a couple cases where people have been sexually assaulted. It's, I've done three gunshot wounds. Sometimes okay. it's blunt trauma. Mm -hmm. And I've also done some murder cases. One of the first cases was someone died about three weeks after they were shot and I did a find out if the person died from the gunshot wound or if they died from something else. And then I've done a couple of DUI cases as well. Okay, so give an example when you're involved in these criminal cases of how you're interfacing. Uh, for example, in a murder case, how do you interface with that case? Well, the one was really technical and we had to look at the autopsy report. And my review of the autopsy report and the angle that the bullet path took actually was help helpful in the defense attorney getting her defendant acquitted because he w said he was shooting at the individual over his shoulder and was pointing the gun down and the autopsy report showed that the bullet path went from a lower position to a higher position because there were several shooters and several weapons so they were trying to decide who did it. So the autopsy report, the ability to get through the medical terminology helped the right. attorney. And I think that's so important because criminal cases often involve medical records. These attorneys don't know how to decipher these medical records and that's where you come in. And also I understand that you explain some of this to the jury as well, which is a great role to play in these cases. Right, just going through and you have to put the medical terminology in layman's terms that the jury can understand so that they can give a fair and accurate assessment. And it doesn't matter to me if I'm reviewing the case for the plaintiff or for the defense. My, my primary focus is to get into the facts of the medical records because the truth makes it fair for everyone. That's right. And, and I'm so glad you brought that up. You're not there to be a vigilante for the victim of a criminal case, nor are you there to be the protector of the defendant. You just get in there, call it the way you see it, and it's up to the attorney to decide how to use you from there. That's correct. Excellent. All right, Marsha, thank you so much.